Hey y'all, welcome again. This is my second Vlogmas video. This one is all about decorating Christmas trees. I do have three trees that I am decorating or that I have decorated. One is in my classroom because I am an educator. I'm also uh, the one that decorated the tree for our grade level pod, as well as the one that I have at home. Uh, last year we went for a real tree and we were looking for like that fresh pine scent but we didn't quite get that so I am pulling my old artificial tree that I've had for a while. My goal this year is to buy a brand new artificial tree like a really nice one that I can get on possibly a good deep discount after the holiday season so I'm saving a few coins for that but you will see me decorate uh, those trees. I'm feeling dessert for coffee this morning. I'm going to do cinnamon dolce with this butter pecan. Sell, sell. I didn't see the email until this morning. I missed all my favorite candles. Yeah, this is all that was left. Cocoa roasted chestnuts. It smells okay. Um, they also had peppermint sugar cookie. Just okay. This one was the last one of its kind. Raspberry thumbprint. Um, I only got it because it is a Christmas themed candle. So yeah, that's the only reason I picked that one up. And then this was the only one of this one as well. White pumpkin. Um, I like anything pumpkin scented. So I picked this one up. Uh, it has a caramel glaze and ground spices and white pumpkin. So I like fall scents. So I went ahead and picked this one up too. That's all I was able to score for the candle event. Yeah. That's the smallest uh, yeah, that screwdriver everything. ever. Money saved because we and we're back. Texas winning, baby. Sunday meal prep is full of it. So this was one of my purchases from the Nutcracker Market.
Okay, so the beans have been cooking for about, ooh, I'd say an hour or two. I'm about to add some tomato sauce and diced tomatoes to it now. I'm a little bit late, totally forgot about this step. How, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna add this, let it cook for about another hour, and then at that point, they should be done. All right, so this is how we're looking. Looks okay. It's a little bit soupy, but the taste is amazing. It tastes really good. So hopefully, if I just let it continue to simmer in this crock pot, it will start to thicken. I will not be adding any more liquid, of course. So we'll just see how it turns out. Otherwise, we're just gonna have a chili soup <laughs> instead of chili. Good enough for some flight. So here I am opening a package for some bows that I wanted to add to the Christmas tree in my grade level pod. Um, these are our school colors. In the next clip, you'll see how the decorations turned out. I think it turned out really cute and I will definitely be saving these ornaments for next year's tree. And here I am here decorating the mini Christmas tree that I have inside of my classroom. Uh, I got this tree from Michaels about two or three years ago and I really like the multicolored. It adds a lot of um, brightness to my classroom. I was feeling excited and ready to decorate at home. You know what's real? When these bins come down from the attic, out of the shade. On this day, I just put the tree together and called it a night. Sitting at the red light, about to go home. I had to go get my nails repolished because why were they chipped? Today is Wednesday. I just got my nails done Saturday. And the lady goes, well, it's holiday, so maybe you've been using your hands more. No, ma'am, please redo my nails, thank you. Okay, I'm about to replace my wreath with my Christmas wreath. I found this at Ross last year. I thought it was just simple and cute. Uh, so it's time to take that fall wreath down and replace it with a Christmas wreath. And this is my fall wreath that I just took down. I got this wreath from Sam's years ago. But this cute little wreath hanger that says blessed with a little pumpkin, I got this from Ross as well. I think I got this the same time that I got the other uh, wreath that I just put out on the door. And it's time to say goodbye to all of my fall decor. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'll see you next year. <laughs> and goodbye to my fall scented candles. I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, so I put my tree up the other day, about two days ago, but I've been kind of busy with work. Today is Wednesday. I'm about to finally decorate it. I got all of my decorations from Hobby Lobby last year and the year before. Um, but yeah, so question. I have a lot of fall scented candles. I love fall scented candles. I love pumpkin spice, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue burning those because when I went to uh, Bath and Body Works the other day, it was a bust. I missed out on all the good uh, Christmas scented candles. Thankfully, I had one that I picked up from Sam's around Thanksgiving. And then I also got one from ba uh, Bath and Body Works for Thanksgiving to put in the guest bathroom because we did host. So thankfully I have those two because I have not found any, like none, <laughs> um, Christmas scented, well, I, not just Christmas scented, but the ones that actually smell like Christmas tree. So last year we had a, a, a real Christmas tree, didn't get that scent. 
So I always like to compensate uh, for a lack of pine scent by buying those uh, pine scented candles or the fir, uh, pine, all of the different um, Christmas types of trees. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed. But anyways, I'm gonna go back in about a week or two because they should be restocked since the sale ended on Sunday to see if I can get some more of those candles. All right, I'm about to decorate guys. Oh, I missed the stuff. Oh, it smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas in this bin. Uh, all my pink stuff. So I probably won't be using the pink stuff this year. Um, I'm just going to do my black, white, and red and black check. Um, pattern things that I got from Hobby Lobby but I got all of this pink stuff from Hobby Lobby as well some from Target but I won't be seeing this one this year unless I do a second tree which I'm really not in the mood for so <laughs> these will stay in the bin for this year all right here's the good stuff I have a lot of um, burlap and wood um, based um, Christmas decorations um, again, most of this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. I got this one um, at the end of the season last year at uh, from At Home. I don't even think I used these um, because I did want to include more um, more of the ball ornaments this year. Um, last year, I just did a lot of um, not really ball ornaments, but I did mostly ornaments that. Uh, have some type of a shape to them or some type of a figure on them. So I just wanted to do these regular ornaments. I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna do some of those clusters that I've been seeing a lot of people do. So I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna try my hand at that this year and see how that goes. Um, but I don't know if I have all of the materials yet. So we'll see. This tree is probably going to take me a couple of days. By the time I get it up, it might be Christmas. But anyways, stay tuned. And I just have a couple of clear ornaments that I didn't do anything with last year. I might do something to decorate these. Or I may just even put them on the tree just as is. And then I have all of my mats for the table and stockings for the fireplace. My tree is not pre-lit, I hate that. So that is why I'm definitely on the hunt for a new tree for next year. Okay, the tree is starting to fill out and I have not even finished putting all my ornaments on. I still have this full bag of ornaments and I wanted to do the um, ornament ball clusters. I don't know if I'll have enough room on this tree. I may need to do a second tree. Okay, I put the star on. Y'all, this tree is super duper full. Like full, full. I don't even have much space to put anything else. There is the front view. And here's the other side view. Okay, I don't know what day I'm gonna end this vlog or start a new one, but today is Thursday, December 7th. It's my hubby's birthday. I'm on my way home from work. Finally, it's so late, it's, um, it's like 5.15. Well, anyways, I'm bummed because look at my hat. The lights on this side are no longer working. Now, granted, I've had this hat for like six or seven years, but come on, I want it to work. So I'm gonna have to take it a loose and try to fix it. Um, it has some wear and tear on the inside as well. So I'm definitely gonna have to take it a loose and reconnect that circuit on the inside so that it is, see it's falling all out in my hair. So that I can reconnect the circuit so that it can work again like it's supposed to, so I can wear it next year. All right, so anyways, that's just a quick check-in. I'm about to go home. 
spend time with my hubby, and finish decorating. Plans for his birthday will take place this weekend. Okay, so I stumbled across these at Hobby Lobby today, uh, Canadian Pine Stems. So this was the missing item that I needed to make my uh, ornament clusters. So I'm about to attempt to do that right now. <laughs> Let's see how they turn out. Okay, so that was my failed attempt at making ornament clusters. This uh, pipe cleaner is too thick, so I'm gonna have to find some thinner ones because this it would not fit through the eye of the top of this ornament. So I'm gonna have to order some. I need to do so quickly because Christmas is in about three and a half weeks, and I would like my tree to look how I want it to look for Christmas. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna take these back to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so. I'm gonna try this instead. This is a stretchy cord that I use for making uh, beaded bracelets. So I'm gonna try this and see how this works because it is too late for me to try to go out to the store and I wanna try to at least get one done. I did go to Google to see how other people are making it. Most people are using the felt uh, pipe cleaners, but again, I'm not going back to the store, so I'm gonna use this stretchy cord instead and see what happens. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so I did this off camera because I didn't want to be embarrassed. And this is the result. I'm going, it, I don't like it with the five. I think I'm gonna probably try to do um, a few more, maybe seven on the next cluster or maybe even eight or nine. Um, but I'm gonna try to put this, position this in an empty spot on the tree to see how it looks. And then I'm gonna, um, do one on camera. Okay, this is my first little cluster. That's okay, these ball, these ornaments are really cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this to fill in all of the empty spaces. Okay, another little cluster here I just did. And then this cluster. You can see me through the camera. <laughs> They look okay. I don't know. I'm gonna keep look. I'm gonna keep trying, uh, but not tonight. I'll do some more tomorrow. I lost my little Santa off my headband. <laughs> so, anyways, it is Friday, which I affectionately refer to as Fry Yay. Um, it is the start of my weekend. I have a T-shirt to make for my aunt for a work event that she has in the morning, and then I'm just going to finish up that tree finally and prepare for my hubby's. Uh, birthday gathering that we're having at the house tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna close the vlog out here. Um, and FYI, I chipped another nail. So I don't know if it was the color that I chose that polish or if it was just the technique, but I'm so over these nails. I'm like, I'm annoyed. <laughs> okay, bye. This is my shirt, y'all. Is it Christmas break yet? It's almost, we're so close. Ooh. So for all you girlies who use a Cricut to design things, y'all design space was totally tripping. I was so annoyed, but here I am making my design for the t-shirt. I mean, it was just a simple design walking in a winter wonderland. I got the design from Etsy actually. And so this is just me putting that together. And again, design space was giving me the absolute blues. And I forgot to even take a picture of the t-shirt, but here's the, Here's the design. It actually even wouldn't work from the mobile app, but eventually it did work from my laptop, thankfully, because I hate to promise someone something and then not deliver.
Here we go. We're about to try our hand at an espresso martini, the peppermint mocha flavor. I need to find my strainer. <laughs> it looks good though. You trying it? Taste test. Mm, it's, it's good. It's actually good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> That's a better pour. Yes. Okay, strainer in full effect. So now we got a true martini, not an icy martini. I know. <laughs> Yum. A little white plate because these martinis are kicking, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's gumbo, baby. It's gumbo. Thank you.